I do love my Star Wars posters. If I could even get them all in the shot here. That was something I always wanted when I first moved into this house, along with my Han cardboard cutout. Got some other great posters too, especially that Back to the Future one that I've had since high school that's hiding behind there. But I've already done a video on that before. Actually, right now, what we're gonna take a look at is uh, this new setup I have here, yeah. Not completely figured out quite yet. Um, still, as you can see, there are bins to deal with, other bins to deal with. Not sure what to do with a lot of these Lego sets. Um, this is also containing a Lego set, but um, hopefully we can get some shelves back here. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna do with this wall, maybe hang something up there and uh, possibly move this cinema room sign because as much as this is still kind of like a cinema room, um, this sign probably more likely deserves to go into the movie room over there, the actual cinema room, which I'll have to figure out at some point. But yeah, this is now the setup, which is kind of nice. So basically what I got here is uh, this desk um, to sit down and as you can see, a video is currently being rendered. It's actually a wedding video being rendered. Um, a few books sitting there and then some photos. That photo right there is kind of cool. Um, well, these are actually some different wedding snapshots. Um, but this photo back here is actually a photo of me and my sister in uh, at Warner Brothers Studios. And it's actually the uh, set for Friends. Yeah, the Friends set. Which was uh, something you could take a photo with. And I'm one of the po probably only people on the planet that has a mouse pad. But it's just because it's that amazing... Uh, not the amazing Spider-Man, uh, but it's an amazing Spider-Man mouse pad for the 2002 film. Very cool. Um, there's a film we will be talking about on the podcast, Cinema Swamp, very soon. Interesting movie. Was shot not only in Minnesota, but very close to uh, where we all live. And some friends were actually in the movie. Friends from the podcast. Literally Hunter and Zach, so... <laughs> Uh, there's my Mickey ears I just got from Disney World. I always wanted to get a pair of Mickey ears just like this. I somewhat had a pair like this. Um, they're actually here somewhere. Uh, they were in the background for some of the videos that I've done. Uh, I had some special ears that were made for whatever celebration was going on at the time when we visited the last, uh, what year was that? 2008, I believe. Um, so they were like on clearance because that celebration had ended. And those are the ones my mom bought me. When really it's like I wanted the classic, you know, Mickey Mouse Club aesthetic mouse ears. So very happy to finally own a pair like that. Also got this really cool mug from, uh, I'm actually going to show you this quick. So these mugs were essentially sold out uh, when we went. Um, but they actually did have one for Hollywood Studios. These are these Starbucks mugs that they do. It's for the uh, Ben There series. And um, they made four cups for Disney World, for all four parks, but they were sold out everywhere. Uh, but we were able to get one for Hollywood Studios. And if you actually look at this, it's actually pretty cool. Cause it not only has current rides, but it also has a lot of um, classic rides on here as well. But I also have my old desk back here, which hopefully once uh, I can move some of these bins around, uh, this space will become a little more open. So before this used to be, we used to have a TV right here. And then behind was just this like open spot. And this open spot was basically just like a storage spot. But a lot of that storage could have gone out to the garage. But the garage wasn't being used for the longest time because there was just like, it was filled to the brim with uh, tools as this film, uh, film as this house was being like remodeled. Uh, but now a lot of those tools have been moved out. The garage is pretty empty now. So a lot of those bins, which were basically holiday decorations, were moved out. So it kind of freed up this space. I was kind of hoping that this uh, desk was gonna move over to this corner. Uh, but with this couch, it just wasn't gonna work out. And then um, I still needed a spot for this fridge. 
and for this record player, which ended up kind of matching up nicely, and then we could still have the couch here. Uh, there's stuff kind of everywhere at the moment, just because things are still sort of being sorted out down here. As you can see, there's a TV stand, which will be heading up into the movie room very soon, so still just things moving around, but at least this uh, setup, uh, besides that thing right there, that, that's not going to be staying there. I'm going to be moving at some point, because I actually have uh, a printer right here, too. A uh, little printer spot, which is uh, kind of handy. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like a, it's a much more cozy spot, though, compared to what I had before. Because before, I basically only had this desk, which I, I've had forever. Uh, it was in my grandparents' house. I've had it. Um, I really should just, like, restore it. Um, I don't know if it has anything, like, as far as, like, significant value to our family itself, but I'm, I'm holding on to it, and I, I, it'd be kind of fun to, you know, restore it to look a lot like how it probably would have looked when it was originally um, purchased. I assume it was purchased, unless my family built this. I don't think they did. <laughs> it actually used to sit in that room, which, as you can see there, too, blankets, because, again... Things have been moving all over the place in this house. We just moved the bed out of here, and then we moved a different bed in here. Um, but my desk used to sit back there. So there were some videos that were filmed there, and that's where the desk was basically for the whole past year. But now we have it over there, and now we have this much more open space with this new desk, which um, I make it look like, yeah, I got my Switch here as if I, I'm just sitting here playing some games, and the, you know, I'm that kind of guy that's got Entrepreneur Magazine sitting right there. Yeah, because you know, on my off time, I'm just reading all about the entrepreneur ventures that are out there. And then there's a cricket. That's actually my wife's cricket. And um, the plan is, is that, you know, she usually hooks up to her laptop and she would just like whip that out on the floor. But I'm hoping there will be enough space on this desk where whenever she needs it, it'll just be right there. And she could just hook it up to my computer and just do whatever she needs to do. So, um... Hopefully we can do a little bit more with that too, where we can get a couple of her other uh, things that she uses, like her laminator and such, uh, kind of being used by that desk. So anytime she needs to do any kind of projects that she needs to do for her work, she can come down here and do it. But I'm hoping to get like at least, um, if not bigger shelves, I, you know, something like smaller shelves here to do something with. I'm not quite sure yet. This isn't 100% figured out, but still does look cozy.